Since we've been warning people about how hot it's going to be today, ways to cool off. Don't leave water bottles in because that could possibly start a fire if it's too long and it's like intensifying the sun's rays. But you're saying it's not necessarily the heat that we're experiencing during the day. It's also because it's so hot overnight. And it's, I was driving in this morning and I thought, well, you know, I put the window down. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't feel that bad as you're moving. But then once I got here, I got out of my car and I, you get outside and you feel it's just so muggy and the sun wasn't even up yet. Right. So the, the temperature is not cooling off at night. So we're not getting relief. I it's see. It's so humid. So we're talking about some of the cities on the east coast along that I-95 corridor. They may not drop below 80 degrees at night this morning and tomorrow morning. So, wow. And then our, our daytime high, our average daytime high is about 83 for today and we're still in the mid to upper 70s right now. So we didn't drop off from where our normal highs are. Our normal lows are about 10 degrees cooler than this. So it's a warm, muggy morning. It cooled off some last night, but not that much. But still that humidity will be a problem today and the heat. So looking at 76 degrees in Pittsburgh right now, 77 in Latrobe already. It's a little cooler in Catanning where we've had some rain overnight, 68 degrees, 70 down in Waynesburg. Those are our our uh, little respites, I guess, if you could call it that. Wheeling is already at 75 degrees. Local storm reports. These are from the, the showers and storms that moved through late last night. Started some flooding problems around 10, 11 o'clock last night into portions of Mercer, Benango, Clarion counties that have persisted through this morning. And all of these reports are north of I-80, but in portions of Clarion and Benango counties, we've had folks have flooded basements, many roads closed. They had a couple of vehicles trapped, so lots of wet weather they've had in spots. Doppler radar estimated two to three inches of rain fall from these storms that started late yesterday evening. So here you see some of this activity drop through the first round drop through Butler, Armstrong, Indiana, Jefferson counties, and then still we're getting some wet weather up along the I-80 just north of I-80 and along that corridor. So there you see the next round of heavier activity. We did have a uh, flash flood warning that was in effect for northern portions of Mercer County that expired. We still have this flood warning that's in effect till 845 for Merce, northern Mercer, portions of Venango and Clarion counties. The heavy rain has abated there, but here comes another round. Look at this pushing into Crawford and Mercer counties with a lot of lightning. So there's more rain on the way, and that is what could prompt more flash flood warnings and concerns today. This same setup could happen again tonight and through tomorrow morning. There you see those flood warnings, the heat advisory for all of us through 8 p.m. You see that activity that started in northern in southern lower Michigan came across Lake Erie, bubbled up. Same situations happening today. You see this next complex of storms that dropped through Wisconsin. It's up over portions of Michigan. Now we could see this same scenario unfold later today. So watching for more storms in areas that have already had flooding and how far south they'll go. Will they drop south of I-80 again? We have the heat and humidity in place. We will get some sunshine. Same situations yesterday where we have mostly cloudy skies this morning. It took a while yesterday until the sun broke through. It should happen around lunchtime or just after lunch again today. And you see that chance for storms on future cast through the evening. Now tomorrow morning we'll start off pretty quiet, but as we head through lunchtime, we get a system that will start to touch off a few showers in the afternoon for all of us. Chance of a thunderstorm that will start to help cool us down. And then Monday as this overnight Sunday into Monday, as this next cold front pushes through showers and storms and we drop a good 10 degrees as we look at our daytime highs. So partly sunny and hot today. Chance of storms 92 going to be the high. It'll feel hotter than that with that heat index. Warm and muggy tonight. A few storms and then here's your seven day forecast. Thunderstorms possible tomorrow, 88, and then Monday morning, overnight Sunday through the first half of Monday, we get storms from and showers from that front. Look at the high, 78 Monday. Monday afternoon will be beautiful. Tuesday, Wednesday, beautiful. Wednesday, Thursday, low 80s and sun. Lisa.